information is everywhere. Nature keeps on broadcasting it through signals. Ancient Indian scholars interpreted these signals with great reasoning and insights and new knowledge prevailed. One of the most important breakthroughs of the time was the science of natural healing, Ayurveda. Corroborated through the practices of centuries, Ayurveda established Panch Mahabhut Siddha. This grand unifying principle explains that everything in this universe is made of five basic elements ether, air, fire, water, and earth, constituted in different proportions. When combined in pairs, the Panch Mahabhut form Tridosha or the three humors. Based on this Panch Mahabhut and Tridosha, the Prakriti of an individual evolves. Ayurveda says that everybody is different based on their Prakriti and everybody needs different solutions for their health. So it is most ancient concept. But it is very interesting that in a personalized medicine, or individualized solution of health is considered as a most modern approach. In modern scientific context, the premise of treating a physical disorder on the basis of Tridosha has found a very interesting correlation with genomics. In a recent research, it has been found that EGLN1 genetic variations correlates with phenotypic classification between Pitta and Kapha and have been linked to high altitude adaptations and thrombotic outcomes in hypoxia. As has been described in the ancient text of Charak Samhita, the study suggests that the phenotypic classification of India's traditional medicine, Prakriti, has a genetic base. We thought that the principles of Ayurveda which allows us to stratify individuals could be integrated with the state of our genomic methods to identify predictive markers which would be useful for early interventions as well as allow us to manage the diseases in a customized manner. As a personalized medical practice, Ayurveda can easily identify, predict, and prevent a disease by implementing therapies like Panch Karma. The therapy believes in finding the root cause of the problem and corrects the imbalance of mind, body, and emotions. The research has shown that the medicine which is given through Nasya can actually cross the blood-brain barrier. I would say that this is a very advanced technique because nowadays the research is going on to develop the nasal spray for the insulin. The two well-established type of medicines, Kasht Aushadhi, the pure herbal preparations, and Rasa Aushadhis, the herbal, bio-mineral, metallic preparations 
have stood the test of time. Today Ayurved is standardizing its extraordinary rich knowledge of medical herbs to illustrate their quality, safety and efficacy in curing ailments. Bahukalpam, Bahugunam, Sampannam, Yogyam, Aushadam. So all these parameters are really the basic protocol for standardization of medicine. Even after so much of skepticism, Ayurvedic formulations like Bhasma and Rasa Sindur have proved their effectiveness to modern science. A study carried out in Bhabha Atomic Research Center and Raja Ramana Center for Advanced Technology came out with the conclusion. Our work not only helps to understand the non-toxicity of Rasa Sindur, but also establishes the Ayurvedic synthesis method for a well-controlled end product. Another laboratory test of Rasa Sindur on Drosophila showed that the lava fed with this mercuric preparation had better thermotolerance, improved size of salivary glands, improved fertility and increased lifespan. The usage of plant materials along with these minerals when it comes to Rasyastra, we understand the symbiosis and the strength of symbiosis between the plant materials and the minerals. Both are coming from the nature. They are not different. Hermo mineral preparations are prescribed for certain disease condition but for a short duration of time in a controlled dosage. They are prescribed sometimes in a disease condition to achieve certain clinical endpoints. This is akin to the concept of biomarker based drug delivery that is gaining importance in the modern era of medicine. Ayurveda has described this thousands of years back in the form of Chikitsa Sutra for different stages of disease for the personalized administration of medicine. One of the most important medical discoveries in the 21st century is the role of the microbiome on health and diseases. This is particularly true of the population of the bacteria, inhibiting the human digestive system. While we are bringing to comprehend the consequences of the microbiome on the development of a myriad of conditions such as diabetes, heart disease, obesity, etc. Ayurved understood this relationship between digestive health and diseases and therefore emphasized the gut as the key to longevity, vitality and mental well-being centuries ago. Today we have learned that gut bacteria actually controls diabetes, cardiovascular disease. And this is measurable from your stool test by genomic measurement. Today's understanding of genomics and yesteryears of understanding of Ayurveda has a place to come and convert. Ayurveda talks about Agni and uh, Agni is related to health and health is related to happiness. It is saying in Ayurveda that Sukha Sangyakam Arogyam Vikaro Dukham Evacha From the health to happiness is a journey of an individual and Ayurveda talks about that, I will practice about that and uh, that is the future. Today, Ayurveda is evolving and aligning itself to WHO mandates with its established, predictive, participatory and personalized approach. The Ministry of Ayush is endlessly endeavoring to spread this unique system of healing by creating a viable ecosystem. With its old premise of constant search for truth and adopting innovations, Ayurveda is set to move forward as ever, as an ever-evolving science.